Hey guys, I'm here, your favorite YouTuber. So I'm going to show you guys how we do the distressed locks. How you, first of all, stress out the hair, okay? So this is all of the hair that I stressed out already. You can actually buy it like this or some people um, who like the clients who don't know they end up just going with the spring hair I just ended up getting this one because this was the only um, ones that they did have in my local hair store um, the black hair is some of the hair that I ordered from Amazon which is this one so they're kind of two different ones but once it's wrapped you're never gonna tell so um, okay, let me go ahead and do a few of these. I got the newbie, little springies. So they're going to look very springy-ish before you stress them out. And it shows you on the pack, either you could crochet them like this, or when you stress them out, some people like to get the wild look. I don't think I want to walk around with this on my head looking like this, but hey, to each his own okay all right so <laughs> pull the hair off all right let me go ahead and just do this here come on okay so let me fix the camera a little bit more come on sorry okay y'all see all my, my poo bears corner back there <laughs> Okay, so what I did, you take the hair, so I just, you know, and then what they mean by distress, as you see the difference, it's perfectly springy and, you know, not stressed out, and this is like really stressed out, like, oh my god, I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just kind of start popping it out from the ends and you can kind of just keep going like that you don't necessarily have to put the pressure here I'm just holding it so it doesn't slide out my hand but you know you just kind of pull it apart it doesn't have to be all the way um, some people I see have questions like how do you get them longer if you only have like if you get them get them at this length you know and they're already folded in half how do people you know make the um, lock longer okay so when you're getting them done if you who's ever putting in your um, butterfly locks either they can start halfway of the lock or they can just take it all the way the long way start here folding it you know through your piece and then wrapping it with another piece all the way down the length that you want it but um, when I do mine I'm gonna try to stay with the length of my hair I want them like a little past my shoulder like my hair so I ain't gonna get on camera too much but <laughs> I got my hair twisted up and the back is loose because that's where I'm gonna start with my back so my hair is like here so I'm gonna go a little past um there so I don't want it too too long you can see where I'm swollen and stuff car accident of course <laughs> Um, I'm trying to stay positive, but anyway, back to the hair. Um, so I'm just gonna go a little bit past where my hair length is. Um, some people have theirs longer, I don't want mine too long. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it at the length of my regular hair, okay? So I'm gonna do a sample one, which I've already done one on one of my. Um, mannequin heads along with my knot list as I was practicing them. Um, I also did a butterfly lock here and I loved how it came out. And this is like basically the length that I'm going for right here. 
so I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna start another part on her hair and show you how to do it from the beginning like thousands of videos that are already uploaded <laughs> Okay guys, so I had to speed up the video a little bit. Ugh, I hate that my thing broke. But I got some backups, so that's cool. I'm going to part off my section here. And as I said, I'm only doing a example because I do need the rest of my hair <laughs> for my head. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just showing a example. I'm gonna show you guys two different ways. I'm using the jam, although I don't need it on the mannequin head, but okay. Just the rubber perla flyaways. So you're gonna do a regular plait. Um, some people call them box braids. Some people call them singles, whatever works for you. Now, some people will use the crochet needle and some people will twist it from the roots like you would do the fox locks. Okay. Here it goes. You have your crochet needle. Actually, I'm gonna do this one first without the crochet needle. Do it the fox locks way. And these tend to be a bit tighter than the butterfly lock way where you're using the crochet needle so at the top it's going to be just a bit tighter and as you're wrapping going down you can make it a little loose but the effect of using the crochet needle way and the difference of this hair and the black hair um, that I ordered is definitely two different textures and this hair is a little bit more rough than the black hair so I'm going to be sorry wrapping it all the way down to the end and then once I get to the end, sorry that I'm off camera, I'm going to be wrapping it going back up to seal it. So down at the end right now, I'm sealing it and I'm rubbing it together to seal the end. And it's not going anywhere. We got our little weight ball. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do the second one. And we're going to be using the crochet needle for this one. jam again just to hold all the hair pieces into the spot and then we're gonna do our plait all the way down and you don't have to complete it all the way at the end 
because it's going to be wrapped once you add the hair to it. You get your crochet needle. You're going to try to put it through right in the middle. Try to tighten that hair up to fit onto that small needle. Close your latch, pull it through. But you're only going to pull it through on one side. And it should be loose enough for you to be able to adjust the hair to the length that you want it to be. So once you start to wrap it, you will know how tight or loose your hair would be at the root. So once it starts to once you start to wrap it, you'll see how tight it would be and the hair won't be moving at the scalp anymore. So I'm basically just showing the difference of how it's looking when it's wrapped like a fox lock compared to crocheting and wrapping. And there I go. Sorry, my hand is in the way. So now the hair, the root of your hair is not moving. It's secured now that we have started wrapping it. But it's not as tight as the other method of wrapping it like the fox locks that's the only thing I can't stand about zooming in because you forget to zoom back out ah! but if you look close you can see the difference between how tight the other one is that's more like the fox lock compared to you using the crochet needle and wrapping it. There we go. Voila. I hope this was very helpful to you guys. And I am so glad that I finally finished my own hair. And I hope you guys love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know there are a million videos out there on how to do this. But I hope that this video was very helpful to you guys. I love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit your notification bell. And I'll be back with more videos.